We're super excited to meet Marnie and Mark. They're a blended family. They've got four kids. I came to our marriage with two children, Jake and Emily, and he has Zachary and Olivia. Love being in our home and being around the family and watching sporting events together and doing fun things. And we never expected to be on the course that we have been diverted to. Marnie and Mark, they've gone through so much. Their daughter, Emily, had a very rare form of cancer. Which is every parent's nightmare. worst nightmare. The good news is, is that she's gone through treatment and the prognosis is really great. But in the middle of dealing with Emily's diagnosis and her treatment, the house catches on fire. I can't even talk about this. It's a lot. It was devastating. The, the, the fire completely incinerated Zachary's bedroom. Emily and Olivia's room was right next door. It filled with smoke and the water. Kitchen and dining room is below Zach's room. Everything on that end of the house was really demolished. Yeah. I went into a really dark place. But I like to say that when life gives us lemons, we make lemonade. We're all safe and healthy and happy right now. You know, we're, we'll, we'll figure it out. Come on in. Love to Thank you. Thank you. This is one of my favorite parts of the house. Beautiful. I love the floor. Oh, the hair. Was... Wow, it's beautiful. The house has definitely been partially demoed. The remediation team has come through. Everything's cleaned up, but the family's not living in the house currently. To the left of the foyer is a formal living room, and to the right, there's a large dining room that connects to an even larger kitchen area. So you love the floor here, obviously. I love And the floor. I mean, who wouldn't? But there's a lot missing from this space mm -hmm. and not a lot of furniture. Yeah, I was gonna ask how you guys lived in here Yeah, what did it look like? So this piece was one of the first nicer pieces that I bought. I know you like handsome. You like, I like a little glam. Nope. <laughs> I know, you're five, I can tell already. You like a little sparkle. A little sparkle, yeah, like a little glam. not too much. You know, I'm like, still from Queens. Like so. a jewel tone? <laughs> I love jewel tones. Okay. Even rooms that weren't hit by the fire or the water, Everything the got ruined from the smoke. The smoke. Right. The fire started upstairs. The fire yes. started upstairs, yeah. How did it so start up there? I can yeah, show you. Will you show us? Yeah. yeah. So it was in this room, my son's room. There was electrical work going on on the street, and our lights started flickering and speakers started buzzing. The nightstand was there, and he had a couple things plugged in, and it just, it got so hot from the power surge, it just went Ignited. up in flames. He collected baseball cards and we had a lot of autographs from- Memorabilia. Mets memorabilia really? everywhere and, okay. and all that stuff is gone. The girls' room's right on the other side of Zach's room. So our two girls shared this room. Okay. I put the bricks up. Yeah. <laughs> Survived. To make yes. it like a little yeah. like lofty, cool space, yeah. yeah. It gets a little tight. Yeah. There's a little bit of maneuvering. They have okay. similar style, but there's definitely some unique qualities as people have yeah. when, as okay. they grow up. The two of them are 11 and 12. They're getting a little sassy. Yeah. I think what's gonna be really interesting for us to do is create a space that's incredibly versatile. That obviously they have their own areas, but they can kind of transition and move and adapt to whatever they need it to be. And it's gotta be cool. Well, yeah. So, I mean, I think probably I- That's why know, I'm here. you want me to take the lead on this? <laughs> yeah. Are you sure you feel good about this? You're so cool. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. I wanna see the rest. Let's go see it. Yeah, let's yeah, go, go see it downstairs, okay. On the other side of the house are Jake's room and the primary suite. Thankfully, these rooms were not as impacted by the fire, so we don't need to address them in this reno. This kitchen is huge. The peninsula was yeah. here. Okay. And right. it really cut off the whole kitchen for us. We did have a small kitchenette over here. Mm -hmm. If I had my druthers or if Just I had- dream it. Dream yeah. it, dream, 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 it. dream, dream. In my old home, I was able to turn a peninsula into more of an island. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like this space would be so beautiful for that, yeah. for the flow. If you got an island, you wouldn't need an eat-in kitchen because your dining room now is right no. here. So you yeah. can sacrifice that kitchenette situation. Yeah. Right? Well, there's a lot of space in here yeah. too to play around with. Yeah. 
the kitchen. You know, that's where most families spend most of their time, so I think it's important to make it comfortable and useful and gorgeous. And gorgeous, yeah. Yeah, let's see what gorgeous. <laughs> the <laughs> best the designers on the planet are now coming to give us the kitchen. Probably gonna be beyond my wildest dreams. I want the best kitchen <laughs> in the whole wide world. Let me present to you Marnie and Mark's kitchen of their dreams. We want to maximize the light and airiness of this kitchen so we can do lower cabinets around the perimeter with some open shelving on the top. Marnie desperately wants an island, so we'll give her that along with seating for the four kids. And because we don't need an eat-in kitchen, on the opposite wall, we can add floor-to-ceiling storage. Okay, I'm open to that. And then my idea is to do a beautiful oak island to anchor the space. The backsplash becomes this muted peacock, and then we paint the walls a warm neutral color. Looks good forever. Oh wow, it's 20 years from now. The kitchen still looks amazing. Do you want to hear my idea? Because sure. it's not as safe as yours. We can stick with the same layout. That's great. Building off of that, I'm taking what Marnie said about glam, and I want to do a, like a really dramatic wall with antique mirror, which will complement with brass hardware and contemporary lighting. For the countertops, a really nice Carrera. And then for the kitchen cabinets, a high, high gloss teal. Turquoise cabinetry? No. They like to entertain, they're fun. The kitchen is essentially their living room, dining room, it's everything. It's where they all come together. So I just feel like it should be bold and dynamic. We had a very plain kitchen. Right. Would, would you cool say? Do something new. Do something new. Would you be able, in the coolness, to still make it functional? Oh, oh yeah. It's functions number one. Yeah. We could go cool. We, you could you could do it up. Okay. Wow. Hello. <gasps> the floors look so beautiful. Yeah, the, the floors look floor. great. Yeah, we did all new floors. And the kitchen where it got ruined by all the water damage. So what we're gonna do is, because all these floors kind of match and she wants to keep the herringbone pattern here in the hallway, mm -hmm. we're just gonna sand everything down and... And then you restain it. Yes. I and this was something that. that Marnie really thought felt like elevated and elegant. I don't yeah. disagree. But I do think we should switch out the banister and handrail. They feel a little bit colonial to me. Okay, let's go check out upstairs. I'm feeling really confident with all the plans that we have for the kitchen and the dining room and the ceremony, how this family comes together. We're here because we really need to figure out these kids' rooms. I mean, there's Olivia's and Emily's room, and then of course there's Zach who lost everything in the fire. I think we're definitely anxious to get in there and make it feel bright and happy and bring back a sense of optimism to this family. There is space in here, but there's not a ton. And any room that's shared is obviously a challenge. We need to kind of honor two different personalities in yeah. the same space. And we want them each to have some level of autonomy. With the extra square footage from Zach's room, we'll finally be able to give Emily and Olivia their own closets. To split up the space, we'll install a graphic wallpaper on one side and paint a contemporary color on the other, and then build a slatted partition that will divide the room while keeping it light and open. We'll finish it all off with a casual seating area that they can use for hangouts. Life moves really quickly. We know that as parents. And when Emily and Olivia first started sharing a room, they were much younger than they are now. Now, they're like young ladies. And that is a whole different planet. A room for two teenage girls. A lot of work to do. Challenge accepted. Things are really moving along at Mark and Marnie's house. In Zach's room, new insulation is going into the ceiling to replace the material that was damaged in the fire. And downstairs, the drywall has already been installed and the floors have been sanded and stained in a uniform color. We're also installing a new handrail in the entryway. The whole point of this new foyer is that we really want to reclaim it and make it feel kind of grand, call attention to some of the really beautiful details like the herringbone floors that we kept. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be elegant. It's definitely going to set the tone for the entire home. And Marnie wants that. She's going to love it. At Mark and Marnie's, the team is nearing completion on the upstairs. In Zach's room, a modern pinstripe wallpaper is being installed that should tie in all of the natural finishes. In the girls' room, a bright pop of pink is going up on half the wall that will complement the graphic wallpaper we have chosen for the rest of the room. 
Work has slowed downstairs, however, as I haven't been able to really hone in on the exact color I want for the bold cabinetry in the kitchen. Hello, Rob. Rob. Hey, guys. What's up, buddy? How are you? We're We've good. Got, look at the cabinets are going in. Yeah, we're putting them in today. We <laughs> have to decide what color the cabinets are. You need I do that need info. that from you. Okay. Do you need it today? ASAP. Ooh. Well, that's oh, great because we are I'm not ready. color at people. The end of today to start spraying the cabinets. So. Okay. We brought some okay. stuff here. We're gonna figure it out. We'll All get right. some paint right. on the walls. Sounds we'll good. text you the info. Appreciate okay. it. Thank All you right, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Okay. Here we go. All right. Look. Mirror. Antique mirror for the back wall. This is the countertop for the kitchen. I love that. Okay, not subtle. This is the marble that I'm obsessed with for the dining room. That's what you want to put on our table. On top of the table. Which I don't think people think of doing, just ordering a table and then just having a marble top cut. But I love this color. It's gonna Look be at nice. it with the floors. Beautiful. Wow. Marnie loves like the jewel tones, and so that's what we just have to keep reminding ourselves of every time we want to paint something white. Ruby. Jewel tone. Ruby. Ruby, and then maybe, you know, this turquoise moment in the kitchen. All right, let's go check this out. Should be interesting. We need to land on a kitchen cabinet color, and we are going bold. Marnie, she likes these colors. She likes bringing in a little bit of glam. It definitely wouldn't have been my first choice. There's nothing glam about you. There really isn't anything glam about me. The only me. thing glam about you, like your glam is wicker. <laughs> <laughs> With the kitchen cabinets finally painted, we're working overtime at Marnie and Mark so that we can get the family back into the house ASAP. Today, all of the marble surfaces are being installed and there's a lot of them. We have a new marble top for Marnie's glam credenza to give it a fresh look and a new lease on life. Gorgeous white marble countertops are going into our bold kitchen, and in the dining room, sleek modern shelves flank new built-in storage with one of my favorite pieces, an absolutely stunning oxblood marble surface for the dining room table, which is going to be the site of so many new memories for the family moving forward. This is it. This is it. We're going home. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't even know where I am. Look at this. I love it so much. Oh my God. Oh, look at this table. Oh my God. I don't even know what to say. I'm like shaking. I'm like, I can't. Oh my God. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Hi. Hi, oh my God. Oh my God. You guys okay, you're happy? Oh, How on earth I did you come up with this? I cannot believe this is the same this face. This is so amazing. Crazy, oh, right? Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you guys. Is this bold? This is bold. It's bold. It's bold, <laughs> right? It's so bold. beautiful. I was obviously the one who was fighting for the not bold. Can you believe how beautiful it looks, though? Oh. I always wanted a refrigerator that had the like door on the top, like yes. not. To... <laughs> oh cabinets. my God, coffee oh. bar! Yes. <gasps> doors. Oh my goodness! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at the mirror in the back. <gasps> Olivia! Oh my God! <laughs> Olivia! No way! This is not real. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. Oh my god. It's so cool. I love the wall. The desks. There's two closets. Oh, this is so nice.